this is gonna be a pretty stupid thing to show you but I wanted to show you these uh, these two Scrabble letter tile holders they're plastic they're from the, the deluxe version and uh, I parted them out and I had them listed for over a year and they sold for four dollars 99 cents plus shipping I figured I'd pull some orders out I almost fell over oh here, here, let me get another one how well can you see in here? This is uh, what I call the top shelf. It's stuff that I think is going to take a long time to sell, which is, uh, a, it's usually a lot of stuff, but uh, particularly the, this stuff. I sold this, I actually just listed it yesterday and it sold, I was surprised. Well, probably cause I didn't price it very well, I don't think. I sold this, it's a uh, King Kong. It's a 1933 version. Uh, I found this at the bins. Um, I did an average buy cost that day, so I have $1.87 into this. I bought a bunch of VHS tapes, plus just a few other items. Uh, ended up bulking it all together. $1.87 into it, and it only sold for $5.99 plus shipping. I have one more thing I got. I sold in here. This is a. This is an. This is my Target box. That's what it's labeled. I sold a battery. I have these batteries I bought. Hopefully I didn't already sell it. Oh, I had to cancel an order on. This looks like it. Oh yeah, here we go. I sold this Sony compatible LIS 330 battery. It's a, uh, I don't know, what does it go to? It goes to a camera. I found this at the bins a long time ago. Uh, I'm well into the profit on this buy and it sold for $19.99. So I got a Scrabble game, a VHS tape, and an old battery. Uh, if, if you wanna see what else I sold, uh, we'll just hang out for a little bit. And I, oh, I have this. I just sold this too. Uh, when I was reorganizing this this last week, I found this up on the top shelf that I never uh, listed. It's a Funko Pop Doctor Who Ting. Peting? Uh, I got this, I'm pretty sure I got this at Barnes and Nobles. Uh, I paid six, I got a part of a sale. of about $7 into it and it sold for $8.99. So, uh, um, nothing nothing to write home about. I don't really know how this is gonna go, but right now you have to say hi to my helper Dodger. Hey Dodger Hi Dodger <laughs> He's crying this morning. He doesn't want me to leave him alone Um, so I pulled the order I have items in, in my bedroom that I keep and then I have items inside the eBay room that I keep uh, usually this was supposed to be uh, a bench a bench. This is supposed to be a shelf of stuff I'm working on and it's turned into a mixture of items that are listed items that I'm working on and uh, It's become overflowing. So I I added this I Got myself a before I had a shelf back here and it was the same concept There was some stuff that was it was supposed to be stuff I was working on but it ended up being stuff that was partially listed partially not listed now It's turned into some extra storage for some of my smaller items. I have a shelving unit and I bought colored banker boxes. The top shelf has my Ikea bags in there and some bubble wrap. I bought I bought colored ones because I'm not going to put anything on them. It's going to be, this will be BL for blue left and this will be BR for B right. This will be RL, RR and so on all the way down. But I sold a couple things that I think are, oh yeah I think they're in here. Sold. I sold this, and I sold this, and I. Oops. I'm pretty sure I sold this. I sold this VTech cordless phone, but I actually found this at the bins uh, just a few weeks ago. So it, it sold pretty fast. Um, I put it in my cart, and then I forgot to comp it before I left, and I bought it. I ended up having pretty good sales. I mean, pretty good sell through rate, and well, obviously because it sold pretty fast. I sold the phone plus the the portable extension charger for $19.99 plus shipping. I have 72 cents into that and I have 72 cents into this. It's just another phone and this sold for $9.99 plus sh shipping. I sold something in here. I sold this. It's an Orvis uh, Polo. Um, I just listed this the other day. Uh, I got, I have $4.83 into it. I went to Goodwill last week. They had a they had an email sale, 50% off with your you know, Goodwill card. Um, I ended up finding about eight items that were all Orvis. Well, I ended up selling this for $19.99 plus shipping. 
this sucks. This whole weekend, I decided I was going to promote listings. I promoted all my listings 5% and ran no sale. I usually run a sale and I'll promote I'll promote it 2% 2, 2 or 3% and then I'll run a sale on top of it. And I ended up with 10 sales. How many did I show you? One, two, three, four, five. I showed you half of them and they, they haven't been that great. Uh, this was one of the better ones, but selling this, uh, $19.99 plus shipping, but I only charge $4.99 for shipping. So let's see how much money I actually made on this. I'll use a piece of scrap cardboard for this. So all in, the buyer is in for $24.98. It cost me $4.83 for the item. It's shipping. I'm going to ship it in a flat rate envelope to try to save myself a little bit of money. A yeah, padded flat rate is going to cost me with my eBay discounts can cost me $7.76. Shipping with this is $7.18. That sucks. Oh, I promoted this at 5% this weekend. Don't laugh at me. What's 5% of 1999? A dollar. So another dollar. So I'm all in 1301 and I made 2498. Ugh. So I made $11.99. Did I do that? 97 cents? Did I do that right? It seems like I, I feel like I did worse than that. Hopefully it fits in this. Oh God, can I do this? I don't want to squish, squish it down in there. Oh, I might, oh, you guys are navy when I do the padded fly rate. I just don't like the way. I wouldn't want to get my shirt like this. I can't do it. I can't do this to him. I can't. Padded fly rate it is. Oh, that's gonna kill. It's gonna kill the. It's gonna kill it. I just can't. I can't get. I can't. I can't send a shirt like that. I can't. I can't kill a shirt. What was the difference? What's? I can't. I don't know if I'll. I'll probably cut this part out because I don't know how to do math. Fifty-eight cents. So I made eleven dollars and thirty-nine cents. I'll take it. I really like to make like ten bucks a, an item for like good items. My bad items, I don't care. I don't care. But it's a bad item, I don't care. Like my Funko Pop. I'm gonna sit here going through all this. My Funko Pop, I made two bucks. I started filming the other day and um, I just kind of gave up after a little while. I got sidetracked. I got I got really sidetracked on uh, on doing listings and getting organized. I couldn't walk in here for a few days because I had the the ground. the The floor was all full of of uh inventory i bought i sourced i went to the bins twice last week uh and then i went to i went to a couple of good regular goodwill stores also during the week and i was listing and cleaning and i was organizing in here uh i did close a few days so it was it never it, it was a mess in here i was gonna do a haul video and then i just started listing stuff and listing stuff and i couldn't i couldn't move i was piling it up in here to to to, to do a haul video with you and then uh it just never happened. I bought these Red Wing boots. Pesco's. You see that? It's upside down. It's work like that. You see it now? I found these at Goodwill. I paid, uh, I, the average buy cost is $9.50, but they were priced at $13. So I have $9.50 into them. And I believe comps were selling for, I think they were 70 bucks. And I bought a pair of area boots. These still, I'm not gonna put these too close to me. They still got it. I already cleaned them once and there's still some there's still some junk on the bottom that I need to I need to work on getting those out a little bit better. I'll do that today. I'm going to rub them down with <laughs> I'm going to rub I'm going to rub them down with some uh Doc Martin Wonder Balsam. If you hear some crying, it's poor Dodger. He has to come out here with me. He doesn't want to he doesn't want to be left by himself. Uh I just picked this up. It's another Super Scrabble game. I just sold this recently on Poshmark for 50 bucks and I found another one. It comes in a tin a tin container. Uh so that's pretty cool. Throw that in B. I sold this. I haven't even put it away. I put it out here to put away and I didn't put it away yet. I sold this Stratego game. I found this at the bins. Why you cry? Don't cry, please. We're almost done. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't cry. Uh, <laughs> this is so sad. All right, let me just pull these orders and then uh, we'll, go, we'll go inside. I found it at the bins. I paid dollar, how much did I pay? Dollar 72. And I sold it for $19.99 plus shipping. 
and it sold again on Facebook. But I had already sold it on eBay, so I'm I'm shipping it through eBay. I canceled on Facebook. I sold this Columbia. They're hiking pants. Uh, I found these at Goodwill. I paid seven dollars for them. And they ended up selling for seventeen dollars ninety nine cents plus shipping. I was going to Goodwill one day, and they didn't really have anything, so I, I was I decided to walk through. I don't I don't really look through women's clothing very often. And I looked through women's clothing that day and I found some Columbia pants. So, not nothing great, but I will take it. 10 ounces. I sold this pair of uh, Nike Zoom Pegasus 35s. I found them at Goodwill. I paid $7.58. Part of an average buy cost on these. And they ended up selling for, I sent out an offer. And it was accepted for $26.99 plus shipping. Happy. That's a good sale, right? I'm okay with that sale. So. Last item I sold was on Macari. It was this pair of Keen... Uh, youth waterproof hiking shoes. I picked them up at Goodwill. I paid $7.58 for them and they ended up selling for $25. I sent an offer for $25 plus $7.99 for shipping and it's cost me $7.99 for shipping because I'm going to ship them through FedEx. It would have been better to print it out myself because now I have to make a special trip to Walmart to drop this off. So that wasn't smart either. Long story about this is that I need to work on my shipping. I do a better job with my shipping. I really do. I don't do good on shipping. I lose a lot of money on my shipping. Still. I've been reselling two years and I still suck at shipping. How's that possible? It's not the it's not the most I don't even I think my air conditioner is going out because it's really hot. I'm sweating like crazy.